Working with Scott was an absolute pleasure. The question asks uh, if, if working with, with, with uh, someone without whom I've had classes was a challenge. But as a freshman, I haven't really had classes with many directors. But working with someone who didn't have any expectations for me as a student was uh, really a liberating experience. Now, I don't say that because I'm a bad student. But I say that because we were both able to approach uh, the topic with, without any expectations except for uh, our, our respective roles, him as a director and me as an actor. So we were equals in a sense, and that was really cool. That was, that was a lot of fun to work with. I think one of the most unique and challenging things about working with a director who I didn't also outside of, have outside of class was that it was kind of up to me to go up to him and ask those questions. Um, and ask those questions about what can I do better? What did you think of this choice? All of those things. Because when you have a director who you also have as a professor, it's very easy to just send them an email or meet them in their office hours or something like that. But with Scott, I really had to kind of take the initiative to go and ask those questions myself, which was really challenging at the beginning of the process just because I wasn't super used to being able to just do that after rehearsal, going up to the director and just saying, hey, how did this work? What can we do differently here? And things like that. Um, but I think it was a really good experience for me to be working with a director who I don't also see every single day um, in the middle of the day because it's really good practice for the professional world. Um, I think working with a professional director who has worked in the professional world, um, who you really only have the relationship with of being a director, um, was really interesting and I really enjoyed being able to do that. And I think it built up a lot of different things um, in regards to my character, in regards to my performance, um, that I really don't know if I, I don't know if I would have been able um, to do that directly after school if I hadn't had the experience of doing it first with Scott. Um, so working with Scott was really a phenomenal experience. Um, he directs very differently than the directors in the department, which was really interesting for me. Um, I've done some shows here and I think kind of the biggest challenge that I faced while working with Scott kind of on an acting level was that he didn't really give very many acting notes. He was really all about pushing your objective and pushing your action and things like that and really worked very um, strictly with Stanislavski method. Um, and for me, that was very different than work that I've done with Aldo and Kim and Jeff and Courtney, who are all phenomenal and I've loved working with them, um, but it's just different. And so I think for me, it was a really good learning experience to learn how to do that work on my own, that I wasn't necessarily going to get to do that acting work in the rehearsal hall with my cast members. A lot of that was gonna to have to come from my own um, experience and kind of outside of, the, outside of the rehearsal hall. I was gonna to have to do that. So that was really interesting. Another, another thing to speak to is my experience, uh, my, my, my first experience with a show at Santa Clara University. Uh, this was my first show. Um, I got here from Washington on a Monday and found out about an audition uh, the following Tuesday. So I worked for that and then got the part and got to work with Scott, who is absolutely amazing. And I met, a, met, met an amazing group of people. Uh, being in a show here was really great because it allowed me access to a community that otherwise I wouldn't have had access to. Uh, the other eight members of the cast are all incredibly talented and just really, really great people. Me and the other two freshmen uh, got to bond over being like the new kids, and that was, that was a fun experience as well. I think I'm gonna miss two things. I think the first thing I'm gonna miss is the environment that the professors create within the department. Um, this department is such a unique place. It's a family. Um, I think one of the things that I was looking for when I was looking at universities and colleges for theater was kind of the environment created by the professors, by the other students. I mean, kind of, I'm going to miss that collaborative aspect, that aspect that we are a family. Um, you know, I think one of the great things about our department is there's not, there's competition, clearly. I mean, you're going to be competing for roles. That's just kind of part of our job. But I'm never upset with the cast lists because I'm always so excited for the people who got cast. And I think for me, that's what I'm gonna miss most in the professional world. Clearly, it's a totally different environment. Um, my, Kim made a good point the other day, you know, when you have a director and that you also have in class, it's kind of weird seeing them the day after you don't get cast because 
you see them every day and you still have to kind of foster this relationship with them. But in the real world, that's not how it is. You don't get cast, you don't get cast and you move on. But here, even if I don't get cast or even if something happened, I've been, I felt so comfortable going to the professors and asking, what can I improve on? What can I work on? I felt so comfortable going to my friends and my family that are the other students and saying, congratulations, I can't wait to see the work you're going to be doing. And so I'm really going to miss that environment. I'm going to miss the people. I'm going to miss the collaborative aspect. I'm going to miss the focus that this department has on education and professionalism. I think this department does a phenomenal job of making sure that um, not only are we learning so much every day in our classes, in our rehearsal process and all of that, but that we're being treated like professionals um, and that we're learning how to act like professionals for when we do go into the professional world, we're not gonna be kind of a fish out of water. We're going to have that experience already. So I think for me, it's kind of sad. This could, I mean, who knows? This could be my last show at Santa Clara. And, but at the same, I'm, that's upsetting, but at the same time, it's what a show to go out on. Um, it's been a really phenomenal experience.